Welcome back to Bespoke Addict. I'm going to be giving some treatment today to my 1786 Russian reindeer skins. Let's just give, give the camera a chance to focus. This is an autofocus. It's got the most remarkable texture. Uh, it's, 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 it's got the, the cross hatching, which was put on by the Russian tanners. But all of this sort of lumpy, you know, that, where it's distorted and creased and lumpy. That's, that's come because the, water, the, the, the skin has been under the sea for 200 years at the bottom of the ocean in a, in a shipwreck, the wreck of Met Katerina. It's a true story. It's not a myth. A lot of people you know, sort of spitefully say that um, that's a myth cooked up by George Cleverly. It's not. There is, there is video uh, footage of the divers in the 1970s going down and bringing these, bringing these skins up. Anyway, I'm going to be selling these, these shoes. Um, seems a great shame. And these things so rarely come to the market. Um, it's, it's one of those things. I, I know that I won't be able to replace them if I sell them, but I've thought about it for five or six years, the thought of selling them. And truthfully, I don't really wear them. They don't fit me very well. They're, they're too big on me, a bit too wide. And I don't know. They're just, they're just not, they're not good on my feet. So I'm going to sell them. It seems a shame. To, you know, to sort of have something so special lying around and other people who would get the benefit. So I'm going to be just treating them now. I'm going to clean them, clean them with isopropanol alcohol, just give them a wipe over. I've not done anything to them for probably five years, but I might have worn them twice, very briefly, for perhaps an hour or so in that time. So just isopropanol alcohol on a, on a cloth, just wipe the skins down. And it's got um, it's got a little bit of colour, and the colour will come. You know, it'll be lifted up slightly. But this does no damage to the skin. It dries it out very slightly, but you know the cream that I'm going to apply afterwards will uh, refresh the colour, and um, any any dryness that's caused by the alcohol will be soon soon recovered with the cream. Right? I just want them to. I want them to be thoroughly moisturised, thoroughly clean, and prepared to, you know, for another another person's feet quite frankly um they're very difficult to price you know it's because they're so rarely come to market this skin has got scarcer and scarcer perhaps once in 18 months a pair might come to market that you know they are difficult to price um these are made to order for new and lingwood by pulse and scone um they're made to order they're not bespoke and uh, most of the bespoke ones come from George Cleverly. The skin would have been originally sourced from George Cleverly. Um, but these weren't made by George Cleverly. Um, but realistically, I'm, I'm going to, I'm probably going to put a reserve in the region of 650. Um, it won't surprise me if they go for a lot more than that. But, I, you know, I won't even consider you know, anything less than that, that would just be silly. You know, I, I would be, you know, I'd be a fool to let them go for, for less. So yeah, it, a lot of people have asked about the pricing and I've given it a lot of thought. And I think a, a reserve of 650 is very, very fair. Um, a pair sold about 18 months ago in Paris, very similar to these. They were made to order, not bespoke. And I think they sold for 1,280 euros which is considerably more than 650. But obviously two people really wanted those. Um, that, that would be my reserve and we'll see. We'll just let them find their own price. They are going to get sold. And, you know, if I had 10 pairs of these for sale, I'm sure I could sell all 10 within, within five hours at 650 a pair. But of course, I've only got one. And um, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. It seems a bit vulgar to be talking about money, but, um, I've been asked so many times, you know, what do you want for them? What do you want for them? And truthfully, they are going to auction and that will be the reserve price to give people a guide, really. Anyway, that's, that's it with the alcohol. You know, there is a bit of colour on there because I did, I did put a coloured cream on them. And they, the Russian reindeer, when they come, they're all, they always arrive much paler. Um, it's, it's a paler sort of this kind of colour. So I, I, I just went for a slightly darker colour. And um, I just liked that, but it's just, you've just watched me wipe it off. And when that dries, it looks a bit dark there because the skin's wet. But when that dries, 
it'll come out a lot, a lot, a lot paler like this. And I'm going to revive the colour more to the original. Like they would, yeah, you know, that you never buy them darker like you've just seen seen mine. You can choose to send them darker like I did, but I've just I've just I've just lifted it out and this will revive it back to very much the original colour. But I can't do that now. Um I've got to wait for those to dry and then I will I will use the um Sophia um coloured cream and ju just brush it in. I'll do and, and then I'll buff them to a sheen. But I'm not going to apply polish. Crinkly skins, wrinkly textured skins like these don't lend very well to being polished. The polish just sort of clags in the in the texture. So I will just moisturise them and buff them. But I'm not going to do any more there. But uh, I've got somebody who's going to be banging on the window in a minute, I think. Let's, there's a couple more I'm just going to show you. And um, these are American from about 1960. They need similar treatment. They just need a quick lick of alcohol and they'll need some cream. Not that cream. And, and I'll buff the skins. Um, this pair are very, very similar, but they're black. So we've got brown and black. They're American, about 1960. And they're in glorious condition, particularly the brown ones. They're, they're very dusty. They've been lying about and they're covered in dust. A bit embarrassed about that, really, but I'll get them looking perfect. Um, what else do we have? Um, oh, yes, a nice pair of Edward Green, um, Edward Green loafers. Um, They've been worn by me, but very, very scarcely. I, they're a bit big. They're, they're my length, but they're way too wide for me. So they don't really fit. So once again, I'm just going to clean them up and sell them. I'll, I'll miss them because it's a gorgeous colour, but they just don't look good on me because they're too wide. And what are they? A G fitting. I, because most of my shoes are secondhand bespoke, I don't actually know what foot size I am because I never go out and buy ready to wear of a particular. So I'm not very good with sizing, but... I know nine and a half fits me at certain widths, but it definitely doesn't fit me to G. It's just too wide. But they will get sold as well. You know, I'll clean them, polish them, and uh, you know they will find a new home. And uh, my, my wife's currently building a website with a with a shop, and all these are getting prepared, polished, photographed, and slowly uploaded. And um, it'll, it'll be a few weeks yet before the site goes live. And all of these, they're going to be on there. But I believe this will be the pair that will create the most interest. Not because they're the most beautiful shoe. Um, it's, you wouldn't sort of look at that and say, wow, that's a, a beautiful, most elegant shoe. Unlike these George Cleverleys here. Now, that is a much more elegant and refined shoe. That's not for sale. Um, I've, I've got the heel off at the moment. But... It's the skin. Um, it's an unbelievable skin. It's, it's so very hard to come by. I bet I'm going to sell them. I just, I just can't continue this lifestyle of hoarding like a total madman, which is the way I've been living. And none of these shoes fit me properly. They're all glorious. They're all gorgeous. But they don't fit me. I can't wear them without packing them with insoles or just, just forcing them to fit. That's no way to be going on. I do have other shoes that fit me better, and I'm going to concentrate on those and let things like this find a new home.